Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Devani, and today I wanted to bring you my 10 favorite beauty items that I just can't live without. They're things that I use almost every day. I constantly rebuy them. They're just great things. So without further ado, let's get to it. So the first thing that I recently bought that has become an absolute staple in my beauty routine has been this facial steamer. I did talk about it in my Amazon Prime Day video, so I got it on a really great deal on Amazon. I didn't even buy it for the purpose of using it for my skin, but game changer. I use it maybe three-ish days a week. I usually use it like when I'm washing my hair and I have a hair mask going, put it on there. Anytime I use a face mask, and then on certain days, like when I'm just getting ready, it's light, the mist is very light, it's not super hot. Although if you do touch it while it is misting, it's that hot. I usually do it if I'm doing it in the morning while I get ready, like wash my face, put all my stuff, and just let it go. It runs about 10 minutes. I haven't exactly clocked it, but I think it says give or take 10 minutes. I've noticed my skin's been really, really moisturized. At this time of year, my face tends to get really tight and dry, and I have to always use a heavy duty moisturizer. But with this, I've been good. I also haven't had to use a humidifier as much, so this obviously is working, and I highly recommend a facial steamer, especially if you have dry skin, or if you live in like a dry climate. Give your face, give your face some love. The second item that I absolutely fell in love with, I use with that steamer, it is the Jojumi Wild Pure Hyaluronic Acid Serum. So this year, uh, the founder and creator of this brand is actually a good friend of mine. And although that sounds a little biased, I'm completely serious. This is great. I always use it when I use my steamer. And then once your pores are opened and just, your skin's just absorbing all things moisture. Put it on, let it sit. I do use it for the last couple minutes of the steaming process. You can all just soak in there. This here, it has no thickening agents, so it's not going to clog your pores. It's suitable for all skin types, especially sensitive skin. I have really sensitive skin. Every little thing irritates it, and I've had no problems. There's no synthetic ingredients, and it's perfect for things like micro needling and uh, derma rolling. I haven't used it for micro needling, but I do use it with the derma rolling. Roll, steam, it's the trifecta. And my skin's never been happier. This here, you can actually buy it on Amazon in Canada and in the US. It's very affordable. It's gluten-free, cruelty-free, GMO-free, vegan, all the good things. This is my second bottle and I absolutely love it. So I don't think I'm gonna go back to other hyaluronic acids that I've used. It is on a bit of the watery side, but I do like that. I don't like the serums that are sticky and feel sticky, I guess. Um, it just soaks right in there and it's amazing. So highly, highly recommend support local, support Canadian and support female. The next item that I can't live without is my Clearasonic. So over the years, I've gone back and forth between Clearasonic, um, I used the Foreo, I've used just random things at Winners, but this one I do like. I originally had a Clearasonic Mia 2, and it's just not charging, so we had to go for a new one. So recently I got the Mia Prima, and it's, it's a bit cooler, like it doesn't have the whole honkin' charger thing at the bottom. It uses just a USB, easy peasy. Right when I noticed that my other one wasn't working, about that week, Clearasonic decided to shut down. So I'm sorry if you don't have one, but they there are some, you know, still kicking around. They only closed in September, so you're not too far gone. This one I did get at Winners, so if you're local, get to Winners now and you could probably snag one of the last few. This one comes with the Radiant brush and it just, Easy, very gentle. I actually only use it at nighttime, especially at night after you wear makeup and you've just been out all day with the gross air. I wash my face like three times, but this is part of the, the deep cleaning to get all the nitty gritty gunk out before we use some of the other things like your moisturizer, your serum, all that stuff. The price range, it's 
Well, they're out of business, so the price range is kind of non-existent, but I got this at Winners and it was very affordable, definitely cheaper than the first one I bought, under 100 bucks. If you can find it, I suggest get it while you still can. So this fourth item here, I found on TikTok. TikTok is all raging over the CeraVe products, all of them, but a lot of dermatologists on TikTok recommend it. I tried it out. It's probably more expensive than the average uh, cleanser that I would go for. It's in the $20 range, but I got it and it, it works. I don't use it morning and night. Personally, I only use it at nighttime because again, that's when your face has gone through all your junk. Sometimes I do use it in the morning because it, it's really easy. It's just a, it's a liquid. It's clear. I don't think it has a smell. No, not really. No smell. Again, great for sensitive skin. I've had no issues. All the people on TikTok have had no issues. But you obviously know that right now it's a big hit because it's selling out everywhere. So jump on that TikTok trend and get this. The other thing that I use to wash my face, usually in the morning or on round one of my evening clean, is African black soap. So there's lots of different kinds of African black soap, but if you get the one that looks like, you know, a normal bar of soap, very smooth and clean and just like black dove, you don't want that. That's not the legit stuff. You're gonna need to find yourself your local Caribbean store or like beauty supply outlet, places that sell wigs, anything like that. And you're gonna get the legit stuff. It looks like a bunch of brown stuff clumped together. I mean, if you decide to dissolve it, it breaks apart. Nothing like your normal standard pretty bar of soap. This one, I don't even know the brand. I got it from some beauty supply store in town. It has honey, shea butter, carm wood, cocoa powder, like, oh, plantain peel powder, and that's why I think it gets a little crumbly. This is the one you want. I store it in its own soap dish because it just retains all that water, and if you put it in a soap dish that has a solid bottom, the water will just absorb into it and it will continue to disintegrate. So the soap dish that I have has holes in the bottom so it can just drain out. It usually by the end of the day, it's still fairly soft from the morning's use, but it lasts a long time. When I get these, they usually last about three months of using it every single day, sometimes twice a day. Great for acne, great for sensitive skin. I haven't noticed it clogs pores. They say it has some healing properties. Right on it, it says it's good for healing, cleansing, and nourishing, but it's 100% natural. So you do need that soap dish or whatever you're gonna put it in that has the holes in the bottom so it can drain through. Next up, we have the toner the glycolic acid toning solution from The Ordinary. I haven't always used a toner. I don't really understand them. Um, they tone your skin, but what does that mean? But I all notice that a lot of the toners are like astringents and they, they tingle, they tighten, all that stuff. But especially in the cooler months when your skin is cold and dry, it just tightens everything up and it's tense and it's not cool. But with this one, I haven't, I haven't noticed any of that. It's very light. I only use it in the evenings, right before bed. It's very light. It doesn't leave that stinging or tingling. And I can tell the difference from the days that I do use it from when I don't use it. But I love this one. It does not burn. It does suggest that you don't use it if you have any type of irritation or cuts on your skin, which makes sense but i mean if you have like you know a zit and you use it you're not going to be screaming it's nothing nothing crazy and painful it is very affordable you could buy it straight from the ordinary's website um, other companies have it here in canada you can get it through sephora you can get it through the bay i tend to get it straight from the ordinary because their shipping is very affordable and you could check out their other products and order whatever you want as well while we're still on that skincare kick the next product is um, the Acne Pimple Patches. So there's tons of brands out there that have these. I'm not really exclusive to anybody. Lately, I've been getting these ones from Oskla on Amazon. They come monthly in my subscription, whatever, from Amazon, and it's under $10. I've also uh, purchased the Cortex ones that are all the rage online and some other brand that I picked up from Winners, but 
they're amazing. If you have a pimple of any sort, you just stick it on. It's a little tiny sticker. Hold on, I have an open one here. Little tiny sticker, and you just stick it on there. In the morning, it pulls out all the gunk, the sebum, and it just makes your, your zits clear up a lot faster. So they're very easy to use. They're very affordable because you have so many in a pack. This one comes with 80. I don't even need to use it every day. If you have like a really fun zit, go for it and use it every day, but they work. I definitely, definitely recommend using these even for just a little quick pimple. You'll be good in a couple days. On the makeup side of things, I love the NYX or NYX, however you pronounce it, matte finishing spray or matte finish setting spray. This is just a staple in my routine. I buy it all the time. I use high end ones, low end ones, but I do like this one a lot more. It just, it just works. You put it on, it mattifies, it lasts all day. I don't see any type of creasing, cracking, movement within my makeup. We're just always fine when this is in my in my routine. It's a drugstore brand, so you can pretty much get it anywhere, but if you must, you can get it on their website as well. Definitely very affordable, under $20. It goes on sale often as well, whether on the website or through stores, but read the reviews on Amazon. Great, great product, and you won't regret it if you wear makeup. So the next ones are a bit of a category. A couple years back, I decided to start using more natural products in our house. So we switched out some cleaning products for more natural ones. We started using essential oils and uh, deodorant was another thing that I switched. So deodorant, typical standard deodorant has a lot of toxins in it, a lot of things like aluminum that A, aren't great for your skin and B, aren't great to use in this area. Like a lot of not good things can happen. So I've been on the hunt for my favorite natural deodorant. Because it doesn't have all those chemicals and stuff, it's not gonna be generic. Everyone's body is different. Everyone's body responds in a different way. So I have a bunch of different ones. I use them all sporadically. And I switch it up depending, because sometimes like it works really great for a couple days and then we gotta switch it out. If it's a day that I work out, I have to switch it out again. So some of the ones that I use are, I have the Yes To Charcoal, I have the Schmitz brand, um, Young Living. So they sell essential oils and that's their main bread and butter, but they have a lot of other stuff. And this one is part of their line. But my go-to ones on a daily basis tend to be No Pong and Nude, Nude. So they're usually all very creamy, very soft. You just rub it in. So unlike the standard you know, Dove, all those ones. You probably are gonna sweat. It's not an antiperspirant, it's a deodorant. Um, the Nid, I notice you can um, put it on once and you're probably good for a couple days, whereas No Pong I do use on the daily. The other guys I do use on the daily as well if I am gonna use them. But just look into it. If you're gonna be putting chemicals on your skin every day, like everything's chemicals, but do you really want it in like your sensitive areas here that could potentially cause some long lasting damage. All natural, I mean, no pong is so darn soft that if my house gets too hot, I do have to put it away because it's gonna melt. Just for your own safety, I recommend looking into more natural options, specifically a natural deodorant. They're all the rage right now. They're literally everywhere. I mean, Walmart started carrying some brands. So just look into it. You will have to do a trial and error time to see what works for you. In addition to that, when you, break away from you know, your standard deodorant and start using a more natural product, your body's gonna have to detox all that junk that it's been hoarding with your previous stuff. So you will go through a time of stink. You're gonna smell, you're gonna sweat, it's gonna be a little, a little raunchy, but don't give up. After a couple weeks, your body's then detox all those toxins and then these will start to work then. And the last beauty item that I absolutely can't live without is the Le Mini Macaron Gel Manicure Kit. I got the kit, became obsessed, because saving money, not getting my nails done all the time, but get a quality manicure, that's a gel manicure, that lasts for days. So I got the kit in Cassis. I heard them say it online the other day. So I got the kit in Cassis, and it comes with a little adorable LED light. That's a macaroon. It does open up, so if you are going to do a pedicure, you would, flip it around like that and then the light will shine onto your toes this way. 
But for manicure, we just keep it intact. It uses a USB, so I could just be wherever, plug it into my computer, whatever I feel like it, and it lights up. It's a 30 second light for these ones. And then I, I kind of started a collection with the polishes. So I have, I have too many, let's be real. I have an order coming with more. So I love it. They have new colors and everything coming out pretty much every month. Now that it's getting close to Christmas, they're getting some seasonal stuff. They show you inspo on their website of how you can style just a solid color on your nail or do designs, but it lasts. Like there's are some gel manicure products out there that don't last. They chip after a couple days. I usually get about a full week of wear out of it. And that's including, you know, doing dishes, doing a full wash day, washing my hair with a deep conditioner twice a week, doing my daughter's hair. They do have tutorials. Um, you'd put on one thin layer, cure for 30 seconds, then put on your second layer, cure, and then if depending on how opaque or how deep you want the color, that's when you'll do your third layer. But I love it. I've gotten so many colors. They have a huge spectrum. And recently they came out with like their nail treatments. So I've got the Jeglo, which is a nail brightener, um, Paris Rock, which is a three-in-one super hardener, and Rescue Me, which was one of their newest set, and that's for an after gel treatment. So that's what I have on right now, just giving my nails a little break after consistently doing gel. And it has a really, really nice sheen to it. So out of all the things that I've purchased probably this year, this, this, these are in my top three, really. Just looking at them now, I wanna go do my nails. Definitely, definitely recommend if you are into doing your own nails. And honestly, like, le mini macaron, how cute. So that's everything. These are the 10 beauty items that I absolutely cannot live without. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And please, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to this video and follow me on Instagram. And I will see you in the next video.